Hey guys, welcome back to another small closet declutter. I'm doing a ton of decluttering and organizing in a small closet that we basically use as a storage space. And as you can see, it has just gotten completely out of control. So I'll be using the Kanmari method to keep me on task. I'll also be sharing some decluttering tips and some affordable organization ideas. Also make sure that you watch through until the end to see some satisfying before and after shots because this was a complete transformation. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cleaning, decluttering, and organizing videos. And now let's start this closet declutter by pulling absolutely everything out of here so that I can get a clear picture of what I have to work with. Right now I'm standing in a corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh while I clear out this closet, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about my friend Olivia from the channel Olivia Erickson. YouTube actually suggested her channel to me quite a few months ago and I clicked on one of her videos and was instantly hooked. It was so motivating, I subscribed right away and haven't missed an upload since. I also followed her on Instagram and have really enjoyed getting to know her better over these last few months. Olivia is not only sweet and kind and genuine and authentic, but she is also such a hard worker. She is so consistent with her channel, uploading frequent quality content and always interacting with her subscribers. She is just hustling here on YouTube and I love cheering her on and supporting her and I know that you guys will too. So I am going to leave Olivia's channel linked in my description box and when you are done watching this closet declutter, go check her out, subscribe to her channel and leave her some comments letting her know that I sent you over. I'll take you anywhere you want. Now that everything is out of the closet and I've got it on the floor around Sawyer's room, it is just crazy to see how much I had crammed in that tiny little closet. But now that it's all out, I can see everything. I'm going to start sorting through all of these piles, making sure that I touch every single item, sometimes multiple times, and just sorting through what I want to keep and what I'm going to be donating or getting rid of. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly I realized pretty quickly that I was going to need to have this trash bag here just because a lot of the stuff that I was going through in this first pile was a lot of paperwork and some personal items and then also like gift wrapping items and things like that. And most of that stuff could not be donated. So I just grabbed a trash bag to make sure that I could collect it all into one area. Please do not think that that means that everything that goes in the bag is going to be thrown away in the trash. I get a ton of comments about recycling and I just want to let you know that when I'm filming it's a lot easier to put everything into one bag and then when I cut the camera off I can go through it and separate out the recycling and what is actually trash. You got something, something I can never be without, yeah. Come in Thought I was a man of my own will It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my ear Cause you know I cannot see no deal Feeling like home But should it be like this? 
So I had these few folders here that had just a bunch of different stuff in them. I had a folder that my mom had kept for me from like progress reports and school projects and things when I was little. And then I had like old paperwork in another one, some of my adoption paperwork and medical records in another of the folders. And going through paperwork can be one of the most daunting parts of decluttering, at least for me. I feel like it's really difficult for me to know what I should be keeping and what I should be throwing away. And recently, I have just decided that if it doesn't spark joy at all, I'm not keeping it. So all of those childhood things that I was going through, if they didn't make me feel good, I just went ahead and threw them out. And then any of the paperwork, if I have an electronic copy, there's really no need to keep the paper copy as well. At least in my opinion, if I am not consistently and frequently referencing the paper copy, then I don't need to keep it around. So if you are like me and you have a ton of paperwork and just paper items stashed in various places around your house that you're trying to declutter, maybe keep those couple of things in mind that if it doesn't make you feel good to have that paperwork around and if you don't absolutely need it and instead you could have an electronic copy, then just go ahead and get rid of it and be rid of that clutter. Now over in this pile, a lot of what I was going through was like old birthday party decorations and paperwork from when I was discharged from the hospital having both of my girls. And it was not personalized. None of this stuff was personalized. And I was just holding on to it thinking that I had to because it was associated with my children. But this is actually another tip for you guys. You don't have to feel obligated to keep everything, especially this stuff that was like generic, not personalized. It just goes home with everybody and the hospital is kind of obligated to do it for insurance purposes. There's no need to keep those things. Old birthday party decorations, if you are not going to be reusing them and they're just taking up space, go ahead and get rid of them and feel comfortable and okay about that. You are under no obligation to keep those things and once I realized that, it was such a freeing feeling to be able to get rid of that clutter. So a lot of these clothes here are things from last summer that Sawyer has outgrown and can't be reused again this year. And there were some of Kinsley's clothes from last summer as well that I had put in here thinking that I might keep some of them for Sawyer. So I'm just going to sort through everything and make a pile of the things that I do want to keep as hand-me-downs or keepsakes. And then a majority of this I'm just going to be donating or selling on my Poshmark. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to my Poshmark in the the description box for you guys in case you are interested in any of these baby clothes. They are all summer appropriate and so cute in great condition. So I'm going to list some of them there for you to go ahead and check out. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream. We could see no reason, but we should ever try to go to sleep. Okay, so this stuff that I am about to go through is like a future Halloween costume and things for Valentine's Day at the girls' schools next year. And this is something that I have done every year since my kids have been school age. And I always, at the end of the season, buy things on clearance to use for the next year. And I kind of just store it until the next year. But I could still be decluttering by removing excess packaging. And I know I talk about this a lot, but it is such a great way 
to declutter spaces. So many things come in packaging that is just not necessary. So I'm going to be removing a lot of this stuff, opening it all up and keeping it in one storage box instead of having it all in that bulky excess packaging. And it makes a huge difference in decluttering a space. So now I was mostly done going through everything and it just looked a little chaotic still because there was just a ton of piles everywhere of what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to get rid of. So I'm just going to sort through those piles to make them a little bit more organized, I guess, or so I could see them better. That way when I get to the organization, it's going to be a lot easier for me. And I made this super affordable with the organization by reusing a cart and some organization bins that I already had. I pulled the cart out of our playroom and you saw me pull the bins out of the closet when I first started removing everything. So just know that when you are decluttering and trying to organize a space, you do not have to feel obligated to go out and purchase a bunch of organization bins and try to make things look Pinterest worthy. As long as it is functional and affordable for you, that is all that matters. Once I had those loose items kind of sorted into the bins, then I could go ahead and put them in the closet. They would not fit onto the top shelf. The bins were too tall, so I did have to fix this shelf before I could put them in here, and it gave me a ton of trouble. I have this clip here of me fixing it, and please just know that it was not that easy. I ended up having to turn off the camera and go get some tools to continue fixing it because it was just not sturdy enough, and I was afraid that it was going to fall down. But I did end up being able to salvage it and I was pretty happy about that. I keep on thinking about the words How you say them when they hurt I turn them inside out to see If there's a hidden message for me I'm hoping, I'm wishing that one day you listen So we can connect again I'm feeling the purpose I know we're not perfect but my soul is reaching out i'm gonna hand you the truth I decided to pull this little cart into here to kind of use as a diaper caddy. So all of those loose packages of wipes that you saw, I'm going to organize onto that top shelf as well as some swim diapers. And then all of the current size diapers that I have for Sawyer that she is currently wearing, I'm going to take them out of their larger boxes and just put the diaper sleeves in that bottom shelf there. And it ended up fitting perfectly. I always thought that it could work. I the one who will get burned I see the cleanses you're faking it How long will you keep playing it? I'm hoping, I'm wishing that one I also had quite a few boxes of pull-ups that I had found on clearance at Target a while back and I just purchased them thinking that I would use them for Sawyer, but she's not quite ready for them yet and I just decided to put all of those boxes up here on the top shelf and make it super simple on myself to store them this way up off of the floor but still in an organized manner. And now I'm just going to be going through all of that trash pile that I was talking about before and breaking down some of these larger boxes so that they will fit into our recycle bins a lot easier.
I did start to sort through the actual bag that I had here with trash and recycling mixed together, but then I realized that that would probably be boring for you and be a super long clip to watch me go through absolutely all of it. So I just picked out some of the larger items, cut off some metal pieces, and then I decided that I would just pack it all up and go through it in more depth later. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys a quick reminder of what a complete disaster this closet was before I started on this declutter project, just so that you could get the full effect when you see the after shots of how much I really took out of here, decluttered, and was able to organize. Okay, now here is the after, and this is a complete transformation, you guys. I cannot even believe that it is the same closet. This is probably the most satisfying before and after that I have ever included in a video before. Now we're back where it started. You say you're sorry, so we forget about it. Simple as that. Here is the pile of everything that I am donating and I just wanted to give you one last tip here. I am getting rid of this entire box of like electronics cords. I didn't even go through it but I know that I haven't touched it in over a year so clearly I don't need the things in there and I can just go ahead and get rid of them. If you have a box like that, you can just go ahead and get rid of it too. I hope that you guys all enjoyed decluttering this closet with me and that it was super motivating and you're ready to tackle one of your own decluttering projects. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Yeah,